let's get started with subtracting numbers in base 7. Now, what are the symbols that we use in base 7? Obviously, there are 7 symbols. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Oops, no 7. So those are 7 all in all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So let's get started with the value, the place values in base 7 counting. So it's going to be 7 raised to the power of 0, 7 raised to the power of 1, 7 raised to the power of 2. Now, for example, we do 3, 2 in base 7 less 1, 4 in base 7. So I'll go one. I'll go directly to the challenging bit. So two less four, we cannot do it. We cannot do it. So we have to borrow from this number. Now this number is three groups of seven ones. Three groups of seven ones. You know, borrowing one group of seven raised to the power of one. The rem what the answer is this now this one here this particular particular number two is the, what's the new value now the one that we borrowed this one essentially we add to uh so this one the one that we borrowed one group of seven one we add to this which we add to this which is Two, right? So this one is the same. This one is the same. So this one is the same as seven ones. Yeah, this one. If you do one times seven, is basically seven. And this seven is what we're going to add to this one. So seven plus 2 is 9. Yeah, so the new value here is 9. So now we could do our subtraction, which is 9 less 4 is 5. Yeah, 9 less 4 is 5, and then 2 less 1 is 1 in base 7. Let's have another example, a little bit much more uh, challenging. So we always write the place value system. Let's do it in here. So here we'll have two, five, three in base seven minus six, five in base seven. So we have here three less five, we cannot do it. So we have to borrow one from here. This becomes 4. Now, the one that we borrowed, the one that we borrowed, yeah, is worth 7. So, it's basically 7 here. Yeah, 7 plus 3, yeah, the new value here is 10. So, 10 less 5 is 5. Now, we do we now do this place value four less six you have four groups of seven ones yeah less six we cannot do it so we have to borrow from here yeah there's two remember so there's two groups of seven square we are going to take one 
group of 7 square and the remaining one is 1 group of 7 square which is yeah, you know, this one is basically what this means here, one group of seven square. Now, the one that we borrowed, yeah, is this one, one group of seven square is the same, yeah, this one, this whole number could be rewritten as one, seven, one and seven one now that seven here yeah we could just call it seven so that seven here we're going to do four groups of seven yeah, four groups of seven raised to the power of one four groups of seven raised to the power of one so in total we have eleven groups raised to the power of one so this is basically yeah yeah this whole one is what we borrowed from here and so we basically four plus seven becomes 11 groups of seven one which is this one so 11 less six is five you bring down the value of this is one so our answer to the whole question is 155 in base 7. I'm going to give you a homework. I'll give you two homeworks. So what is 3, 4, 5 in base 7 less 1, 5, 6? in base seven. The other one is four zero three one less one one four two. Now this is a little bit challenging. The second item here but it's all part of learning i want you to write your answers in the comment section below i'll see you in the base six counting system and we're going to do more exercise there on a, a subtraction in different basic base systems especially basics